In this video, I will show you how to move an industrial robot in single axis. You should watch this video when you start to getting into robotics. Have fun! Hi, my name is Werner Hampe from Robtech. I have been working for more than 30 years with industrial robots and now I show you how to move a robot in single axis. A standard industrial robot has six axes. There are robots with five and four axes, but most of them work with six axes. Because when you have six axes of a robot, you can reach a, a spot in every orientation. With a five axis robot, you cannot move that direction, for example. By the way, the first six-axis robot was built by the company KUKA. So, I will show you this on the KUKA robot. So, let's show this on my little KUKA model. Yeah, And you see, this is axis one. Axis one moves all the other axes with it. Axis two moves axis three, four, and five. Axis three moves uh, axis three and axis uh, four, five, and six. These are the main axes, axis one, two, and three. And we have the hand axis, axis four, five, and here is axis six, yeah. It's very easy. So you can move axis one, which moves the whole robot, and axis six just moves axis six. So all axes move in a circular move, yeah. If you want to move straight with the axis, you need another coordinate systems I explain you in another video. But now we just move single joints with the robot. I'll do this on the real robot now, when you understand that. To move a real robot, I use my teach pennant. This is my KUKA teach pennant, and I have to enable the robot that it can move. You have uh, some enable buttons here on the back. I move the robot, first I push the Enable button. Be careful. Don't push too hard because it disables the movement or because it's a panic button. If I have panic, the uh, robot stops. I have to enable it in the middle position of one of these buttons. I have to uh, switch the robot to test mode, manual mode. Test one is the right uh, operation mode on the robot to move a robot I think. I show you this on my PC because you can see it better like it's uh, here. But you have to know, first you have to push one of the enable buttons. Let's switch into my PC. Here on my screen uh, is the enabling button here and this is the test mode. I'll show you in another video where I explain uh, the teach panel uh, how this works, how to change uh, your operation mode. Here is test one. I have pushed the enable button and now my axes are green. That means when I disable, they are not green. When they're green, they know, oh, motors are on, I can move the robot. So let's move axis one to plus and to minus. You see, the robot moves X1. This is that axis on the button. Please keep in mind, yeah, when I push this button here, plus or minus, it's the same as I would click here. It's just for you to see better what I'm doing. Yeah. This is uh, not the best screen uh, for recording, and here you have it in high quality. So what I push here with my mouse is the same like you do it at home with your fingers on the teach panel, okay? So, I can move axis two, which is the second axis, axis three, which moves the whole arm, axis four, the first hand axis, five, and six, what rotates just the gripper. Keep in mind, the industrial robot, the axis, stops here. This is the gripper, which is not included in the robot. You can uh, have anything on an industrial robot for 
gluing, welding, uh, gripping, something like that. This is the gripper. Robot stops here, but of course we need a gripper to do anything with a robot. Yeah. You can do nothing with a robot yeah. uh, without a tool. So, this is axis 6, axis 1. Very easy, isn't it? Maybe you ask yourself now, uh, what for is to move a robot in single axis? Of course, uh, you need to move a robot in single axis when you, for example, just want to move the robot around. Yeah, so to uh, uh, if you don't know uh, your coordinate system in the robot, just to say, oh, I just want to move the robot away. You do this with axis one, for example. Okay, so let's exercise, yeah. Maybe you want to do this on your robot too. If you don't have a robot, you can use any simulation software. I show you some simulation softwares in further videos, yeah. Uh, but if you have a robot, please, make this exercise, you get a feeling for the axis of a robot. This is very important, believe me. So please do this like it, like I do now. So I want to move my robot to somewhere. I, I imagine ah, I want to have this uh, shunk gripper uh, exactly here. Yeah. And I try this to do with single axis. So I have to think about which axis do I need to move uh, and I start with axis 3, mm, yeah, you see, oh. and now I need axis 5 to get straight again, okay, I move axis 2 down, oh. and I 5 again to make it straight, okay, I move axis 1 to move in this direction, uh, now I need to move axis 6, you see, you you always have to correct the orientations. Yeah. You move somewhere, you have a circular axis and uh, the angle is always changing. Uh, but it's important to... Oh, wrong direction. Now I'm moving too fast because I'm very close to an object. I can reduce my speed. Now my uh, manual speed is 75%. I reduce it here to 5%. You also can push here and reduce the speed by switching here, okay? I reduce it to 5%. Uh, when I move the robot now, it moves much slower and, it, and I can move more exactly to the object, okay? I'm satisfied with that position. Done, well done. Now I try to move the robot uh, to here in another direction. So I increase the speed, move axis two to minus. If you don't know where the axis moved to, you can see on the robot uh, some signs, plus and minus axis five. You can see on every axis, which is here. I see it here, you don't see it now. Axis two minus is to go back. So I know this because I have a little bit experience with my robots at minus. And I just give a try to move a ro the robot to here. Please do it, this exercise for yourself at home. Okay, let's move here. You see, I always have to correct the angle. Ah, I need axis 3 now. Axis 5 back. Okay, when I get closer to the object, I reduce my manual speed and okay i'm satisfied with that yeah so this is how to move a robot in single axis to some positions yeah first i imagine oh i want to move the robot here and then i, I move it yeah you can see here uh, on axis five that it's a plus and minus um, you can see this on every axis okay so uh, get that feeling for the robot, uh, reduce the speed when you're getting closer to the object to avoid a crash, 
and uh, move it faster when you just move around. Of course, this is not the best method to get to a position where you have to move very exactly. Yeah. This is just the, the right method to move the robot around, uh, to move it away, for example. Yeah. To say, okay, uh, just move the robot away from me. Yeah. And not, not to, to uh, program positions. Yeah. This is just to move the robot away. Yeah. But you need to exercise it, then you uh, have a feeling which axis do I uh, uh, have to move uh, to, get it, to get away. Yeah. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos about industrial robots, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. I will answer it. And I hope I see you in the next video. You're Werner. Bye bye. We'll be right